Hey, aren't we supposed to be at Shrine Island instead of wherever this is, which is right above the Dark Rift over in there? Yeah, we are, but I almost forgot about this. This is one last piece of preparation that I didn't want to leave you out on. This is Hamcho Island. And it can be a real pain in the ass to forget the champ here because sometimes these little dudes will walk up to you and you'll talk to them, like this dude. Hey, Hamcho. There it is. That's the last cham that is not inside of Soltis. And there's one of these ch uh, Hamchos that looks like Vice, kind of. And this dude will kind of tell you... Is it this guy here? Hamcho with a familiar face. <laughs> and... Hey, uh, talk to me, dude. This creepy old man... Is the Hamcho Hermit. How about the way I fight? Let's see. Number of times we've engaged in battle? 310. This guy is never satisfied. Number of times we've run away is 15. Eh, not bad. I don't think that's bad. Number of times we've been knocked out? I've been knocked... Vice has been knocked out twice. Ake is six times. And Fina. Kilder never got knocked out. Yes. He's satisfied there. My treasure hunting skills. Pretty average. <laughs> yeah, 86%. That's not too bad. Screw fish. I don't care about fish. Yeah, I hate fish. They're, like, pointless. Screw you. I don't have a reason to go fishing. We got freaking fights to win. 86% not too bad. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if that takes into consideration all the available treasure chests in the game or just the ones you've been able to come across. Alright, so we just want to head back over here to Shrine Island. So, northwest. Yeah, the only thing that's uh, real necessary there is the uh, champ. Won't do anything now. We won't. I mean, Cuba won't change until we get the last two. I believe it's two that's left. And we'll be getting those in the videos up ahead. Soldis is a rather large place, so it'll take at least a couple videos to get through it. I'm not sure how much we'll even be able to do in this one, considering we have to truck back there, but thankfully there's no random battles up here, which I so love. There's the silver moon, we must be getting close. I mean, I don't think we'll miss a giant spire anytime soon. There's Soltis. But where's Pirate... Where's Shrine Isle? Why am I thinking Pirate Isle? Probably because I moved that cursor there. But there it is. So let's fly on down there. And out of nowhere, we get a Death Star trench sequence. This caught me off guard, and it's awesome. The first time I played it. So we get to fight this Gadianos. I believe uh, this fight ends instantly after a few turns. He's not that tough. So we're, we'll try and finish him off, though, if we can. Jados Ray. Let's call it the Jedi Ray. We'll stick with the Star Wars theme here. I do love this fight, though. It's really cool, just the way it's... I, I mean, you're not circling around. You're kind of... It really is like a Death Star. You're fighting in the trench. I mean, how else do you want me to explain it?
Jedi beam. <laughs> See, there's nothing to this guy. I mean, he, he hits a bunch and he's fast, but... Very weak. I don't recall. I mean, maybe maybe it's just because my memory's kind of fuzzy for things this near to the end of the game, because it's been so long. But I believe if you don't finish them off, that door closes behind you, and it traps him, or for some reason. Complete its sparkling deck and a moon gun. We might equip that, but I'm not so much feeling the uh, secondary cannons, but why not? Let's make sure to equip that sparkling deck, though. Because we have not had a deck upgrade in a while. Look at that. Wow, that is such an increase. I gotta wonder if there isn't something before that. Spherical figure is better than the whatever the heck we had. Goddess figure. I forgot to equip that. Do we have anything better? No, we don't. Okay. I equipped the X-Kin instead of the other thing. Is the moon gun better? Apparently it is. Let's go with it. I don't care. <laughs> Probably won't use it, but I really don't care. I've said it twice now. I don't care. Our ship should be fine. It should be at about top condition it'll be in. Fortunately, the uh, whole Shrine Island area is going to be a lot faster. We don't have to trek through the entire thing. It should just be a staircase in front of us. Gotta love how this goes uh, full circle, though. I mean, Drachma's back in our party. There's really... Gilder is easily the hardest one for the final battles. I mean, I've I've done I've done it with all of them and all, but Gilder is the most difficult one. He doesn't give you a very good advantage. Whereas Drachma, that move we just gave him with the Moonberries, which I mean, you, I'm sure we'll see it. I know we'll see it because it's awesome. And Enrique is just a shield. Are such oh, they just make it so much easier. Enrique's takes a lot longer though because just a shield, just the way it wastes spirit to defend everyone. It just makes it a lot longer of a fight. That's why I chose Drachma. It's going to be a lot faster, and you'll see why when we get there. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. we got a lot of nasty enemies. And Soltis, the dungeon with awesome music. Like, you know, <laughs> they all have awesome music. And this place is a big old maze. Uh, I think we want to go down twice. And then left or something... Because there's a lot of dead ends. Now let's go right first. See, this looks like a dead end. Pretty much it's three circles. Small, medium, and large. And what it is is there's just going to be broken paths all over the place that you can't go down. See? And that's the basic layout. This is the entire first part. And we'll have to pick up here next time after this battle. I think we got time for it. Aw, oh, another dragon, and he's all alone, a Dracosleth. Uh, let's just go all out on sex. Uh, Drachma, that is an awesome dragon arm, I'm not gonna lie. But, I want you to have purple in there, so you can tackle him. And as you know, if you probably saw there, Spirit Charge takes zero spirit. And I'll explain it later, but for now, I'm gonna tackle this dude drop weights on his head and get counterattacked. We'll watch it again for old time's sake next time, but for now we're kind of short on time for this fight, so Actually, let's watch it for old time's sake one more time here as long as it doesn't encroach too close on the 11 minute mark. Which, as long as that thing doesn't go before Drachma, and use, like, Terrible Bite or whatever he's got. Cruel Attack or whatever. It's gonna hit me.
That's probably about as bad as the drill. <sighs> Beautiful. And, yeah, I'd like to say he's the hardest, but he's probably just among the hardest enemies around these parts. It's going to be all heavy hitters in here, practically. There's going to be some weaker guys, but you'll see next time.